All right, guys. Um, I'm back with more content. I have no clue if this is actually again going to get on my YouTube or not, but I figured might as well do it just in case I want to. But I got a 3D printer, so more cool tech stuff for Jackson. Um, things I got right now, I, I'm going to order paints soon so I can actually paint my 3D models and stuff. But for now, um, I got some tips because I wanted smaller tips. So I got a bunch actually. But I've got some 0.2 millimeter tips because it comes with 0.4. But if you're doing little models, like minis and stuff, or like D&D, &D, then you're really going to want a 0.2 tip. So I just decided to get it right away. So I got 0.2 tips in here as well as like a wrench and stuff to take it out. I got some glue so I can glue these together. And then I got this which is the 3D Vox Lab Aquila printer. Um, and yeah, I'm going to open her up. And then after I open her up, I'm gonna set her up. And hopefully this is all available. Okay, when I built my computer, I was like, this should take like two hours because like the tutorial is 10 minutes, right? Yeah, it took like eight hours. It was horrible. So this is a 10 minute tutorial, but I think it's actually much more accurate to my, the amount of work I'm gonna have to do. So I'm hoping this is like actually a 30 minute setup to just screw everything, because it's, it's, you're really just screwing it all together, set it up, should be pretty easy. And then after it's set up, I gotta level the plates, or level the plate, um, feed in some filament, and then after all that's done, hopefully I can do a practice print, and I'll show you guys that as well. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna how much I'm gonna dig into each of these process things. Might be good to just talk about it. But I'll probably just time lapse it all so you can just see the process and stuff. And then we'll go from there. And then hopefully I can get to making some like cool models tomorrow. I'm hoping today I can set it up, start the the um, the easy model, the uh, <coughs> like the test model where you just make like a little wrench thing. Um, and then I'm hoping by tomorrow, or like by the time I get back tonight, I can just click print and actually print like kind of a cooler thing that I actually want to print for me. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, um, everything's out of its little box thingy. Um, I think you're supposed to select the wattage of your wall outlet beforehand. And I think, I was searching it and it looks like the average voltage coming out of a normal outlet is like 110 to 120. So I think you want to just keep it on the 115. But apparently if you got a really powerful outlet, you can do 230. So hopefully I have that right. I'm just going to leave it as is. But it says you're supposed to select it before you turn it on, so I just want to make sure I covered that. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna just going to jump straight into um, the build portion of this thingy. Um, I don't think there's much else to do but build the thing, and then we just got to set it up and do some tests. So we'll see how long this takes. I'm hoping like, hoping I can have this thing done like now. Um, at least set up and then you know adjusting and everything will take a minute but here we go Okay, so making good progress. I'm like 20 minutes in. Um, I got a couple of the beams on and now I'm putting on this spinny thing. Um, although I think it's supposed to actually, I feel like it's supposed to actually grip this as well. I don't think this is supposed to be loose in here. So I'm kind of playing with that. It's not super clear from the instructions 
whether it's supposed to like grip just this little motor down here or this thing as well. I have a feeling it's supposed to grip both though. I feel like that's the point. So I think I'm gonna unscrew it, try to retighten it, then keep going. Okay, um, we're actually making pretty good progress. Um, this whole top part was kind of hard to assemble. Um, and the whole like rotating belt here was pretty hard to put on because it was really tight. Um, but it's on correctly, I do believe. I don't know how tight it's supposed to be tension wise with this little rod here. You have the increase or decrease tension. So hopefully it's tight enough and not too tight. But, um, but now the next step we're doing here is we're doing, we're gonna insert this thing on top and I'm pretty sure this thing has to be in there tight because I'm pretty sure that motor is supposed to spin and rotate this, which moves this thing up or down. And if it's loose, I kind of doubt it can do that. So I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna try to literally just cinch this thing cinch this rod up and then throw it onto the machine thingy. So third time's a charm for this, but we're almost done, I think. We're making it. Okay, yeah, that was for sure how you were supposed to do it. Um, the way you gotta do it is like, once it's off, just actually slip like this little, um, this little torque nozzle thing in there. And then like, wow, they're like, fully into each other, tighten the top one so that it's like, so that it's tight around this actual little peg. And then once both of these are like pretty much together and super, super tight, um, then you slip it on to the actual motor and then tighten it onto the motor, which is this little guy. Okay, let's put it on. Okay, I think I'm almost done. The only problem I'm running into is um, is you're supposed to have a clamp on your extruder nozzle here to keep the nozzle from falling out. And I don't know where the clamp is. There's nothing that I've thrown out that had anything left in it. I, I genuinely do not know where it is. So I think I'm gonna look through the box and see if there's like a very small bag I missed because it's it's literally this very small piece of plastic and it looks like they didn't come with any extras, which is kind of dumb. But I'm gonna double check everything and see if I can find the clamp for the extruder nozzle. And then I think we're almost done. We got the screen on now. Um, we got our filament holder. Everything's tightened up. Um, I it just said to tighten these till there's resistance in the platform and stuff, so that was pretty easy. So I'm hoping I can find this clamp, otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna do. So more on that soon. Okay, well, basically, I have concluded that they did not give me one. Um, I've looked through like everything in the pack they gave me twice and I cannot find any clamp for the extruder nozzle. So I'm just thinking they didn't give me one. Um, I don't know if it like got lost in the process or what, but there's like, yeah, there, there's like no way. There's, there's no way that I missed it. Um, so I think what I might do is grab, um, God, that sucks. I mean, I guess I could order another one, but I don't want to wait 
several more days for this thing. Ah, it pisses me off. Um, I think there's a chance I'm gonna get some like, some of that wrappy stuff for like cords and such. Oh, I could zip tie it. They gave me zip ties. Why'd you give me zip ties with a bra? Everything. The only thing, the only way I think I could have somehow already lost it is if it was on, no, because I screwed the extruder on. It should have come as a separate piece. I feel like they just gypped me and did not give me an extruder tie thing. <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I might try to zip tie it. Just see how it goes. Um, see if that works at all. Otherwise, I'm just gonna finish building and then hopefully I can keep doing this. So, we'll see. Okay, so. Sure. Kinda pissed they just didn't give me one. But I don't tell you. I don't think I lost it. I don't know how I would have because like it's supposed to be in a baggie in the box, right? Like But pretty sure it's not here. I think it's undebatable. I've been looking for like 20 minutes now, so what I'm gonna do is uh, the uh, power cable came with one of the uh, bendy, not a zip tie, but one of the bendy things. I think I'm gonna just throw this puppy around there, tighten it up real good, and this is gonna be a makeshift nozzle tie. But I actually think it's gonna work pretty well, so I don't think it's gonna overheat or anything, because I mean, it's just a piece of plastic that was there originally anyway, so it just needs to be pretty small and not too much excess or anything. But all right, I'm gonna throw this on and then finish up the build, plug everything in. Um, I'm also gonna switch out the nozzle to the 0.2 nozzle right now because I don't wanna level my plate with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle and then have to redo it anyway um, because I'm gonna start small, I don't wanna go big. And so basically yeah, what I'm gonna do is um, 0.2 millimeter prints to begin with, but first let's get this done. Okay, I think I'm done. All the wires are plugged in, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I think we're doing good to go. Um, I think you're like supposed to stuff this wire in there. Oh, it's not just totally destroy it, but okay. I think we're good, I'm gonna tear this thing off and make sure that like this plate is on right. I look weird right now, so I'll figure that out. And I'm gonna kind of clean up my space here. Um, but yeah, then I'm going to level it. But first, I need to switch tips. So I need to switch tips. Oh, I have a few things left to do. I'm like it's 2:20, and I think it started at like I think I'm a couple hours in. So really, not that bad to build. Um, getting everything set up is gonna take a sec, but we'll get there. Um, all right. I'm going to fix this plate thing, level it, switch tips, things like that. Okay, um, switched out the tips. So we got a .2 in there now. Now I'm going to take this stuff off and try to level it. Um, so let's see how that goes.
Okay. <clears throat> um, I have no clue why that seems so hard. Cause I, it was weird. I I kept trying to level it, and then it would just continually like unlevel. So what you want to do is you want to go around each four of the corners and then like slide the paper underneath and make sure that it's going to be level. And every single time I'd go back around to double check it was like a good consistency, it would like move. Like the, I, 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 I did it like 20 times and so hopefully it's close enough. Although I definitely have already scratched this, um, this glass plate which is really unfortunate um, just from moving it around. So I was started keeping the paper underneath it so that it wouldn't scratch the plate, it would just scratch the paper. But who knows, giving it my best shot. Now we're going to load in the filament. Okay, um, so it worked. Um, it loaded in filament, right? That was pretty easy. So now, I'm wondering if me changing the nozzle to a 0.2 millimeter is gonna screw up those tests because they were designed for a 0.4 millimeter. And obviously when I'm doing my models, I've accounted for that, but I don't know about for these test models. I have to imagine it's gonna make a difference, so. Not quite sure what to do. I think I'm going to try to do, to copy over kind of a tester. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Because um, I know it's supposed, I'm supposed to do the test hook. But that's with a 0.4 millimeter and I've changed it to a 0.2 millimeter. So I think I might try to upload my own and then say, you know, using the 0.2 millimeter model, this is what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, Cause then it's designed for a 0.2 millimeter and then that'll be my test. I'll just do like a little cookie thing. Um, and we'll test that right now. Okay, so I don't think that was really working. You can kind of see that it was a little janky of a circle. I think it's because my bed temperature was not hot enough because it's only 25 right now. So I think you have to manually set that yourself and it doesn't just like automatically heat up when you're printing. So I think I'm gonna set it to 60, I think is the recommended temperature, maybe 70. I'm gonna do some more research on that, but 60 or 70 degrees so it's actually hot and it doesn't just dry up because it's drying up too quick and then we'll stick I like, and then it was just breaking it off. So I'm gonna try again. Okay, I think about that. It's probably gonna be pretty loud, but um, I'll speak up, I guess. Um, so, at first I wasn't worried because I did not have the setting to update the bed heater, but now it's updated. Um, and so then I just did this. I, I went back to the point four because I want to do bigger prints right now anyway. So I'll do minis when I do minis. But I went back to the point four and printed this puppy just as a test, which is the test hook that it comes with but it looks super cool, worked perfect. Um, and now I'm printing like an eight inch armadillo. 
So we'll see how that goes. Um, it's going right now though. And I'll give you more updates when that happens probably, but otherwise it's done, it's set up and it's printing.